Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schomer, and with me I have Doug Peterson, my co-host, and today we're going to light stuff on fire. Yeah. So did you decide not to let Doug talk? He doesn't want to. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I was more comfortable. I liked him doing... It's, it's his show. Oh, that's good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Plus, I can't I can't match his enthusiasm. That's his. That's like, his. I saw I like trying to do it, I'm like... Ah! It was, it, when it, it you was were yelling that other time, it wasn't that bad on the camera. Really? No, I watched it. I need to be more comfortable with it then. How did a stink bug get in here? Hey, look, a stink bug. I don't know. I don't know either. They, they probably can't see that. Everywhere. They're everywhere. And they can't be killed by this anymore. I think we've lost everybody at this point. No. <laughs> anyway. Ha! So what we're going to create today is a, a the cocktail's called, it's a shooter, Sunday Night Shooter. It's called the Kalishnikov. And this is a, it, I think it's another representation of the AK-47. Correct. And so this is by, submitted by Alex in Australia. Um, Alex is attempting to kill us. So what he's going to do is like you're going to take some dark rum, you're going to fill, you're going to put some dark rum, some vodka in your in your glass. Okay. Right there, I'm like, cool, I can fall. I'm yep. good. Then you're going to take a lemon and yep. you're going to put it on top of the glass. Like that. Yeah. So flesh side up. Yep. Okay. Um, damn it. <laughs> Which one goes where? That one goes there. I made all these custom signs. Right, so then you're going to put that on top of there. Yep. Then you're going to pour absinthe over it. Yeah. Then you're going to put some sugar and some cinnamon on it. Yeah. Then you're going to light it on fire! Really? I don't know if it's going to work. Going to light it on fire? Yeah, that's the theory. I'm and really then, excited about this. Then you're going to let it burn out. Yep. Then you're going to take the shot and you're going to bite the, the, the lime. Do I pull lemon. the lemon off, do the shot, then bite? Or do I, I hope do so. I, do I try to... No, that would be tough. <laughs> All over your face. Yeah. If you try, uh, eh, no, yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Um, that's going to be challenging though, because what you don't want to have happen is you don't want that lemon to fall inside because yep. it's got to really rest. Yep. So you got to take them out anyways because you have to build the drink. No, no, I know. I'm just saying like that's the theory. They're slippery. So there you go. That's what we're going to do, and we're going to do that by doing. Let's go with our dark rum, which is a quarter ounce, so not much, right? Yep. So a quarter ounce. Quarter ounce, quarter ounce. That's probably a little I, this bit more. Is, so this is going to be mine, right? Why? Because you stuck your finger in it? Yep. I don't really care who's this who's. This one could be for the product shot for all I care. Okay. Then we're going to use the suggested Russian standard because it's um, Kalishnikov. Yeah. Two Russian cocktails. Right. Did you plan that? Well, sort of. Good man. I didn't really plan it. Really? What happened is, wait, because I'm using Russian Standard or the fact that I'm using two Russian cocktails this week total? You're probably saying just whole week, right? Correct. Yeah, I didn't plan that. It's hmm. just how things fall. No, nice. No, I mean, I plan it. Oh, okay. So, the vodka represents Russia. Right. The Myers rum has that oak that represents the stock, the wood. Oh, okay. And this is your firepower. Oh. Absinthe. See what I did there? Yeah. I didn't just make this stuff up, man. I read. Okay. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. You weren't supposed to do. Uh, it sucks. No, that's mine. That's so cool. That's cool. What? That one doesn't go on here. Here. No, this one goes here. How do you know? Because I remember the look of so it. So which one does this go? It has to, these are both the same, so it has to fit on here. Okay. Right? You would think. Yeah. There we go. Wow, I should have. I need a bigger lime. You you really need to have the right limes for this. Lemons. I said it wrong, and then I thought I corrected myself in my head. Did you corrected go? it in your head? So now we're gonna pour this right over the lime. Lemon. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did that one purpose. Oh, nice. Well done. Yeah. Well. Not really. Don't encourage him, Doug. I'm gonna pour this one over the lime. Okay. No, that the uh, that you had the uh, Russian standard. Uh, two times in a row and not planned. No, because serendipitous. I wanted to do Russian standard You're for welcome. this one. Serendipitous. Yep. Big words. Yep. You just trying to confuse me? No, I just want to use a big word. Boop boop boop. So there you go. Look at that. You're just washing that lemon. So that's, that's taken some of the lemon, huh? I don't think that's gonna light. Oh, it will light. Guaranteed. Okay. I'm excited. Sugar. Sugar. This this was kind of. I don't really know how to do this right. I'm gonna use this one. I just want some controlled spillage. Uh, there you go. Just pour a little bit more here because it's is a, a complicated shot. It is. 
I don't make it any easier by also being slow as molasses here. And then... You're not being slow, you're being... Um... I want this to work. I'm really excited about this working. This has to light on fire. Because if it doesn't, I don't know what else to do. I don't know either. And I don't have a lighter. Oh, this is worn out. Oh, come on, light. Jennifer. Here, you want to try one? Light. Oh, you know what the problem Stop. is? It's hard to... It's on. It's on fire. Oh. It looked like it anyway. That's the other issue. Is you're in the light, so you don't know what you're not getting. If anything, I'm caramelizing it. You know what? Light the light under it. No, that's probably a bad idea, huh? Holy crap! These aren't lighting on fire at all. You know what we need? Uh. Ah, more absinthe. Yeah. I just try one, see if it happens. Because I think the sugar is killing it. You want to light that? I don't have any light matches on me. I want to see if it lights. Who goes faster? I got it. Oh, 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 I went. I can't. Oh, crap. That might actually have been on fire. It's hard to tell. I don't like the effect. I want it to work. Oh, you're cheating. You're cheating. Here. Like that. This stuff should light on fire. Yeah, but the lemon's already juicy. Yeah, I know, but it's got absinthe on it. Uh, uh that's on fire, but that's it might be under fire. it. Yep. Well, it's kind of all over it. Oh, that's pretty cool. You see the cinnamon's crackling? Yeah. You probably want to blow on that before you take a sip. Oh, you think? That's my theory. <laughs> oh, it's just totally on fire. Is it still on fire? Don't make lemonade like yep. the lemon's on fire. <laughs> when life gives you lemonade. Holy ow! Yours is on fire. You're going to need to put that out because when you put that up to your lips, yeah. it's going to burn the crap out of you. Touch it. No, it's not that hot. Ow! <laughs> it's not that hot. Delayed reaction. All right. Ah. Right. See the problem? Drink the other one and we'll take a picture of that one. Look at that. <laughs> no, he's... Now it's a challenge. All right. All right. Burn yourself. Brandy? All right. You're going to burn yourself? If you end up with a red burn on your face, I'm going to laugh. All right. And I'm going to put it on YouTube. Oh, wait. <laughs> hot, hot. Imagine that. Ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> it bit my tongue. You bit your tongue? A little bit. It's a little sweet and a little black licorice and a little bit of weird. Um, there's a lot going on right there. <sighs> I'm going to have to deal with absinthe in my mouth all Oh, night. yes. You don't like absinthe? Um, you definitely get the absinthe because it's on the lemon. And when you bite the lemon, you get absinthe. You get absinthe in the drink. There is a little bit of sweetness from the sugar, but that's only after you take a bite. Up until then, it's a fiery burn of, um, it's just fiery. I don't get a lot of oak mm. or dark, dark rum. a really weird smell. Yeah, it's called, um. Cinnamon and fire? Yeah, probably. And matches. And matches. Sulfur. 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 Sulfur, that's what I was trying yep. to say. Um, so, we'll just throw them all in here for Doug. That's it. But you do have a lingering aftertaste of... Absinthe. Absinthe. What is absinthe? What is absinthe? Absinthe is this. It's a. Uh, it's like if you can imagine a gin of black licorice flavor. High proof. So what? It's, it's you got your warm wood, your bitters, like a little bitter bite to it. You're not really supposed to drink it the way we're drinking it because it's so high proof. You're supposed to lose it in water, and then yep. it will turn white, like a milky white. Yeah. And that's kind of oh my, fat sapphire fell off. Uh, but it's a distilled spirit that's that was recently. Allowed back and oh, here's my my sapphire on the yeah. back. Yeah, it was probably. recently allowed back in the U.S., U.K., and a few other places because it was considered illegal due to uh, stupid 
prohibition pre-prohibition weirdness that happened. Wormwood. When you, the wormwood, there's there's supposed to be hallucinogenic <coughs> properties, but it's that's all fantasy. Really strong black licorice. It's, yeah, yeah, but it's so got potent black licorice. If flavor. you've had sambuca, picture that's, sambuca. Yeah, but but with more potency. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. in general, it's not a syrupy. It's not a sweet. It's very much just a kick your face in potency. Yeah. But you don't get a lot of alcohol if you do it correctly. Even with this, I didn't get a lot of alcohol. You really just get that black licorice yep. flavor. Question uh, of the day. Question of the day. What, what's your favorite flaming drink or Coke or Pepsi? What's your favorite flaming drink? Or do you like Coke or Pepsi better? Coke? Yes, Coke, he agrees. Definitely. Um, she agrees. You have to agree. Yeah, you don't really have to. You like Pepsi? No. You don't even. I've never seen you. You don't. You drink beer. You don't even drink Coke or Pepsi. You're right. I know. So that doesn't. Even I, I actually. I, I truly. I do enjoy a, a nice Pepsi in a can every now and then. Really. Pepsi in a can, Coke in a bottle. Yeah, Coke in a bottle is definitely better than can. But Coke in a bottle, Pepsi in a can. I don't like Pepsi at all. Have you had Pepsi in a can? Uh, probably not, because I don't like Pepsi. Well, maybe you should give it a try. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not gonna make a difference. It's bad both ways. Um. But Pepsi haters, wow. Yeah, I've always hated totally. Flaming Dr. Pepper. For a flaming drink? I hate flaming drinks. Do you want to know why? Because they burn you. No, because hardly ever light on fire. Like, this is like you got to work so hard to try and get this on fire. I don't I don't know what you'd have to do. This is um 53% alcohol. Yeah. So that's 106 proof. Mm -hmm. This, if you put this, if you this will light on fire. Mm -hmm. Right? It will light on fire. However, we couldn't do it. I've had other drinks where, oh, you added ice. Oh, you didn't do this. Oh, it broke the surface and you can't cut it. You can't light anymore. Bull! Just drink your damn drink. Stop lighting them on fire. That's what I say. And it's not just because of this drink. I failed on many other ones. I know. Oh, yeah, tab. Tab um, is nasty. Moxie! <laughs> so, I, I was thinking that maybe this needed to have been inverted. How would that make a difference? Well, because then you're not... You're lighting the the rind on fire, which doesn't have any moisture in it. Let's see. This should be easy to test. Well, and, why don't? Yeah, guess yeah. why? You don't want to light the matches on fire. Yeah. Um, okay. Say we put it this way. The okay. problem is it's all going to run off and it's going to land on the um, on the floor around the wrong side of the glass, right? Why isn't that lighting on fire? It is. I don't see any fire. Is it not? No. Which is physically impossible! I see it floating! I think it's on fire. This should burn me. I'm not anyway. getting burned. Anyway, there you go. It was worth a try. We definitely tried. And it's regardless if you if you light on fire or not, it's not really gonna make a difference on the drink anyway. You're gonna get a caramelized sugar, whatever. At the end of the day, you're still drinking a Kalishnikov. Fire or no fire. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, because you're looking at me weird. AK-47, it's got a whole rich history, or not necessarily history, but description of why it's called what it is. That's the shooter. Question of the day done. EverydayDurs.com. Boom, boom, boom. We're done. We are teaching you how to drink.